So this is a, this is a picture of uh, Louis de Broglie, and um, the notion of uh, de Broglie matter waves is that uh, uh, de Broglie proposed that if, if light is, is acting as a particle in a wave, that is, if, if, if photon theory and wave theory describe light, right, then maybe matter can, can also do this, right? So I'm just going to hit the right arrow. This is the formula as it appears in the data packet, um, and so this is momentum, that's just m times v, right? That's Planck's constant, and that's the de Broglie wavelength. Most people, though, write it in terms of the wavelength. Okay, and of course, if you do that, it's right Planck's constant over m times v. Right, um, and just remember that that's a really, really small number. Okay, so if this is a kilogram or something like that, right, and this is a velocity in a few meters per second, you know the wavelength is is very, very, very small. Right, if if a denominator is one, the wavelength is. Uh, you know, 10 to the minus 34th. So that's such a small wavelength that for most things, big objects going fast, the de Broglie wavelength is so small that it can't be observed. Baseballs don't really have a lot of wave behavior, okay? Um, but for an electron, remember this mass here, you know, is like 10 to the minus 31st, right? And then, you know, gee, we're getting into wavelengths that can actually be observed with things like electrons, okay? So, and, and of course, you know that there are things called electron microscopes. So you know that electrons can act like waves. We can make images with them. We can focus them. We can magnify, um, et cetera, et cetera, right? Okay, so um, this is, you know, write this down to you. This is the way the rest of the world sees the de Broglie wavelength, right? Okay, let me, let's do, um, let me just show you how they confirmed the first experiment that confirmed electrons acting like a wave. Um, and that was this. Basically, they sh they shown a beam of electrons at a nickel crystal, which of course has these, you know, it's like grid lines of uh, um, uh, a matrix, as it were, of, of atoms in an orderly fashion, right? Um, and it's just like a diffraction grating, just like we saw in the Bohr atom, right? And it, it caused an interference pattern of bright, dark, bright, dark, bright, dark. Um, and the only thing that can interfere is, of course, waves. So this is an example of... Uh, Electrons acting like waves, right? And then it's like, you know, is an electron a wave or is it a particle? Well, it, it's something that's beyond our understanding in, in normal everyday life, it, but it can act like a particle and it can act like a wave. In this situation, it acts like a wave and other times it'll act like a particle. Okay, so so here's our little formula. Here's an example problem, right? Let's, uh, let's figure out the uh, de Broglie wavelength of a... Um, of a baseball. This is a fast pitch baseball. That's the mass of a baseball. That's about 90 miles per hour, right? So, um, so we start with a, the IB formula, right? Okay, and then uh, of course lambda is h over, right, which is over mv, right? Okay, so that's going to be uh, 6.626 e minus 34 joule seconds, right? And then it's like, okay, but somehow it's, okay, what is a joule? A joule is a kilogram meter squared per second squared, right? Times seconds, right? Uh, divided by 0.145, got to have kilograms, right? Okay. And then uh, let's see the velocity is 40 meters per second, right? I want this, I want this to ultimately end up being meters, right? Okay, so let's see. Do the units work out? Kilograms goes away the bison. And then one of those seconds goes away. And then you've got a, a meter and a second that goes away. And yes, all that's left is meters. So now we just have to get the answer, right? <clears throat> Let's see, 6.626e minus 34 uh, divided by 0.145 divided by 40. And I get 1.14. 2 times 10 to the minus 34th meters, right? And, and, you know, we can just write that answer down and nod our head and say, yeah, that's the, the wavelength of it. But this is ridiculous. Remember, atoms are 10 to the minus 10th meters, right? And that's about the smallest thing there is that you can build something out of. So there's, there's remember that in order to make, a, to observe wave behavior, we've got to have, you know, like, like a double slit experiment, right? Like I did with the laser. Right. This thing has to be about, this separation here has to be about the size of a wavelength. 
Nothing is that small. That's too small. Okay, even the nuclei of atoms are, you know, 19 orders of magnitude smaller than that, right? So, or bigger than that, right? Okay. Uh, let's do a, let's do the, uh, th this is not very difficult. So let's do one of the difficult problems. Um, and that is, uh, uh, through what potential must you accelerate an electron to give it a de Broglie wavelength of uh, one nanometer, right? Okay. And there, there's lots of ways to do it, but let's just bust out the de Broglie wavelength, right? Uh, let's see. Using the IB formula, right? Okay, so uh, so MV equals Planck's constant over the wavelength, right? So therefore, the velocity equals uh, Planck's constant over M times lambda, right? So 6.626 E minus 34th joule seconds, right? Divided by, uh, what is it, 9.11 for an electron, E minus 31 kilograms uh, times one nanometer, right? So that's one E minus nine meters. Okay, so uh, 6.626 divided by 9.11 E minus 31 divided by 1 E minus 9. And I'm getting the velocity here is uh, 727332.6 meters per second, right? Okay, so that's this would be a simple problem. And now we've got to use this thing. This is the accelerating electron formula, right? Whoa, okay. Um, right, so V times E is equal to one-half mV squared, right? So therefore, the uh, voltage, this is the accelerating potential, right, has got to be uh, one-half mV squared divided by uh, E, right? Okay. So that is uh, the accelerating voltage is one half times nine point one one e minus thirty one, right? Uh, times that voltage or that velocity. Sorry, seven two seven three three two point six squared, right? Divided by one point six zero two e minus nineteen. Okay, so uh, 0.5 times nine point one one e minus thirty one times this thing squared. So I'm going to go second answer squared because that, that was the last answer I got. And then I have to divide by 1.602e minus 19. And I get, drum roll please, 1.504 volts. Yeah? Okay. So that's interesting, right? And then just in general, right, your, your de Broglie wavelength is uh, Planck's constant over mv, right? So in general, if you increase the velocity, you decrease the wavelength, right? Uh, so slow things have a larger wavelength, and fast things have a smaller wavelength. Large objects have a smaller wavelength. Small objects have a bigger wavelength, right? In general, normal objects like that we can picture, like baseballs and cars and stuff, have such an incredibly large mass that their wavelength is too small to be detected. Okay, that's the basic idea.